Assalamualaikum readers, guten morgen. How are you all doing today? In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the book Thief. Ah, Germany, a country which was not so peaceful in its past. Yes, I said it, in your face, Hitler. Pretend none of this ever happened. The book Thief is about a thief who steals book. Well, that's it for today's video. See you later. I'm just kidding. This might seem like an ordinary childish book, but it's many, many more. So Liesel was sent to live with some foster parents, Rosa and Hans Haberman. And the first book she ever stole was after her brother's burial, a grave digger's handbook. Every night at around 3 a.m., she would wake up screaming about her dead brother and her foster father, Hans Haberman, would come to read her some chapters from the Gravedigger's handbook to soothe her. And then Liesel steals her second book called The Shoulder Shrug. She got it on Hitler's birthday. Happy birthday. The people started a fire in honor of Hitler using books and papers. And then in the end, Liesel saw a book lying at the mercy of the fire. She picked it up and went home. Remember when I told you guys that Jews in Germany were mortal enemies? Well, what do you think happened when a Jew came knocking at Liesel's doorstep? Since the Jew, Max Vandenberg, was the son of Hans's best friend, they took him in. He lived in their basement because if anyone, anyone found out that there was a Jew living in their house, only God knows what will happen. Jinkies. Then over time, Max and Liesel became the bestest of friends. And let me tell you another character, Rudy Steiner. He was also another friend of Liesel. They met when Liesel showed her amazing football skills in football practice. And let me tell you one thing. Rudy Steiner did not deserve to die the way he did. These are all the books that Liesel stole. A Gravedigger's Handbook, The Shoulder Shrug, Mein Kampf, The Standover Man, The Whistler, The Dream Carrier, The Word Shaker, and The Last Human Stranger. Eight books. And let me tell you how she stole them. You guys already know how she stole the first two books. She didn't actually steal the third book, Mein Kampf, but her father lent it to her. And the fourth book, The Standover Man, was just a birthday gift from Max to Liesel. The rest of the books she stole from the mayor's library. The mayor's library. The main concept of the book thief is the four most difficult years of Liesel's life and the environment that transformed her from an innocent little girl to an innocent book thief. And a word of thanks to my friend and follower, Mustafa. He made this for my birthday and my YouTube channel. See, it has all these little flags and everything. It just looks outstanding. This book was written by Marcus Zuzak. I would rate it a 5 out of a 5. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell and also drop a like on this video. The fact of the day is 950 beetles can live in a sloth's fur at one time. Ah, thank God I have less hair. Um, uh, um, see you later. Somebody won't tell me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sh What the hell happened here? This story was set in the World War II era. The Jew, oh my God. And let me tell you about another character, Rudy Steiner. Here we go again. She was also... No, he, he. Hasta luego, amigos!